What's going on here with UFC flyweight Tabitha Ricci? She is fighting Jessica Penne this Saturday at UFC 285. You are the baby shark. You walk out to the infamous baby shark song. I was actually at your fight, your last fight, and inside the apex. Hi. And when you walked out to that song, it was literally stuck in my head for the whole. <laughs> so I asked when you're fighting, and like you know, maybe when Bruce Roberts announced you were in the opening minutes, it's still kind of in your head a little bit. Oh, for sure. Especially in the fight week, you know, like people make jokes and uh, we sing it uh, on the side. So that song, like even the UFC stuff all the time when they see me, they start to sing it, the song. So it definitely sticks on my head. head. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it was definitely stuck in mind. But when you're winning, nothing, none of that matters. I also see on your Instagram, you're now uh, an ambassador for 805 Beer. You even made a yeah. video from Las Vegas. Were you, uh, how did that come about? And were you a beer fan before? And how do you like it? Well, I always love 805 because I also live here in the Era 5 area in California. So I always was big of 805 beer. And uh, I have amazing teams. So we got in contact with 805 and then we got this partnership working out. So I'm very happy for that. And I do love the 805 people, the crew. I have a big opportunity to be to the brewing, uh, walk through there, you know, met everybody. Yeah, it was pretty fun. And I'm super glad to be part of. Yeah, the, the billboard you were on was really cool. That's got to feel good, seeing your face yeah. on a podium. Yeah, that was, that was a surprise for me, actually. I was not expecting that. And my friend was in Vegas walking. He sent me that picture. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so you, where are you living now? California? I live in California. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in California. I saw you spent a year living in Japan after growing up in Brazil. What was that change like? was very uh interesting for me because uh and I, I didn't spoke like fluent english you know and uh, definitely not japanese <laughs> so <laughs> when i went to japan i lived with one girl from uh lithuania which is yuli sororenko she's from ufc too and two girls from nepal and the only language she speak was english so actually i learned english in japan with a Lithuania girl, and uh, I, I w was there for one year fighting for this organization. It would call Seiza. It's like a uh, sumo arena with some bogies, uh, a lot of rules, a team versus team. Uh, was one of the best experiences I had in my life. So that's interesting. So what happened in your life that sparked the change that, hey, of all the places, I got to go to Japan from Brazil? was just the opportunity that came through my uh, Muay Thai gym in Japan. They were looking for somebody to be part of the show. And uh, I just uh, was lucky to get this opportunity, you know. Yeah, that's great. So you fast forward to now, this Saturday, you're fighting Jessica Penne. You're still a young, up-and-coming fighter, only if you fight Jessica Penne. She's a vet. She's fought for the title. She's been around the block. Does it excite you to fight someone with that much experience? Yeah, for sure. I'm super uh, honored and glad to be sharing the cage with her on Saturday. Um, she's one, she's the OG on the division. She started the division. She fought a big name. She fought for the belt. So I think she has a lot of experience, and I think it's going to be a, a good challenge for me, a big step. And I'm very excited to the fight. And, uh, you know, it was Kind of unfortunately, that didn't happen the first time, but I'm very glad, you know, that we are in this big car. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking for it. Yeah, I, what I'm looking forward to most, I think it's a really intriguing matchup. We talked about, you, know, you have all these judo skills, your BJJ skills, and she's a really powerful wrestler. So if this fight does hit the ground. How do you think that plays out? I'm, get, I'm definitely getting the sub. <laughs> 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 if it's the ground, but you know, uh, fights a fight, we never know. But I'm just gonna be ready for everything. That's awesome. So, if you do get this win over someone with a name like hers and the experience of hers, where do you think it puts you in the big scheme of the division? There's a lot of change going on. A lot of the up and comers, such as yourself, are taking out some of the the older dogs. We just saw Blanchfield beat Andrade. Where do you think it puts you if you win this fight? Well, I think the strawweight division is the most popular now, you know, and it stacks a lot of very good uh, high-level fighters. I'm looking forward to be in the rank, you know. I hope so because I know that Jessica was ranked before, but now she moved, uh, I think, one down and Poliana got her spot. But I just fought Poliana, you know, and I got win on that fight. So, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to be in the rank after the fight, but it's 
it's not up to me. I'm just going to do there and do my job and see what I got. Yeah, if you're not ranked uh, after went over this, someone someone should get in trouble. I think uh, I think <laughs> you definitely have that coming. But aside from the UFC, you know, ranking aspect of it, this is a big card. The return of John Jones, T-Mobile Arena pay per view. Probably going to be a lot more people watching you fight on this fight than have in the past. And if you look at where you're at right yeah. now, you got a lot of stuff going for. It. I mean, you're on billboards. Your social media is awesome. You have a lot of fans. <laughs> What do you think all these eyes on you, all all these more eyes on you, is going to make of you for kind of your overall star power? Well, I'm just going to keep being myself, you know, and keeping my org ethic, you know, and trusting on my friends, my team, and it definitely just be me, you know. And then if things good happens, thank you. And I'm just going to be thank you and stick with the people that I love and that I trust and then, and I'm just grateful and glad where I am right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I think, you know, with the win this weekend, the baby shark might, she might just take off. So thank you Let's so much for the question. <laughs> we got to ask, you're fighting Jessica Penne this Saturday. What's our prediction for the fight? How's it going to go down? Well, I believe that fight is going to end in a finish. Uh, can be stand up on the ground. I, I can see that, but I don't know exactly what it will be, but it's definitely going to be uh, an end like over. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I'll let you get back to being on billboards or getting ready to beat up Jessica. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.